and welcome to another modern video we're playing another cascade deck today it's the time for a glimpse of tomorrow uh, this is an extremely fun card that gets your shuffle all your permanents and you get some um, permanents from your deck at random uh, obviously you're gonna build your deck to be able to get the biggest you can with it although you can watch some of my past videos with Glimpse, uh, with like Emrakul and Omniscience and things like that. But this deck is different. This is more of a fair mid-range deck with cards like Cavern of Souls uh, to make so that your Endurance, uh, Reason Reef and uh, whatever uh, are not counterable. But also plays, uh, of course, Glimpse of Tomorrow, getting to hit your Omnath Locus of Rage. And uh, Omnath Locus of Rage is the second Omnath printed, and uh, it's it lets you go off with Glimpse. This is my decks of the weekend, and this is legendary. I, I failed to mention this in my in my deck tech for the decks of the weekend. And uh, what you do is you get you Glimpse uh, sometimes for like five or six, seven permanents. You can get two of those, and they die. One of them dies, uh, and you can deal three damage to any target, and that's relevant as long as alongside with Fury. You have Seasonal Power and Fable to make bodies. And uh, you have Cavern, and you can name humans as well. I'm mostly going to name Elementals for sure. Uh, uh, Cavern also lets you have a better matchup against uh, Merc. You have Basic, so hopefully you're going to lose too much to uh, Blood Meep in the Cogni Garden. And um, you, you don't play 4 color anymore, so uh, that's uh, that's something to note. You have Leyline for Burn and similar matchups. You have Foundation Breaker over Force of Vigor, because those are permanents to shuffle. Uh, you have uh, extra endurance, subtlety, and a couple of dispute. Not too many dispute because dispute is not too good uh, to flip with limbs. Um, all right, I want to also remind you that if you haven't, um, you know, subscribed to the channel, you can do that as people who forget to do that and they don't shout out to that enough time. Holy possum, buongiorno, you enjoy the new car market videos. That's true, that's true. Uh, if you haven't yet, there is a new car market video. Um, let's see, let's let's take a look at it. Uh, the car market videos where I stage at. It's Can Your Submitted Deck Beat Andrea Mengucci. 31k views in 14 hours, that's crazy. Yeah, there it is. I'm playing Merc Tide and yeah, very cool, very cool. For one, welcome to the first video of this deck. It's actually the first. You get to see a little bit of a spoiler, but I didn't, I didn't like the first match, so here we are. All right, my hand is fine. There is a Fury to help us interact in the early game. And then we have a turn two wave sifter, turn three shardless. So much better hand than the ones I opened earlier. And let's go. I'm gonna go tap land now. Following up with a Steve Vance. So very good, uh, very good opening here. I go uh, Grist. Ooh, not Grist. That's another creature that dies to Fury. I can go Core for zero. Uh, do I? Yeah, I'll just. Mm, yeah, I'll just pitch a fable. Hello, Ashiok. How's it going? Thank you for the third month. Let's go for a wave sifter and pass. And next turn, I'm ready to cascade with a ton of permanence into play. Kind of a dream start, honestly. At three mana earlier, so I'm assuming they don't do anything this turn as well. All right, I guess they drew this. All right, let's go off now. Mm. Doesn't really matter. Let's go shardless. 
we don't have the chancellor to play outburst first like like in the past you just go shardless you go glimpse and let's see what we find we find some omnats we find not much Okay, but our next outburst is gonna be even bigger. So let's just go red, green. I guess I'll fetch a mountain and leave some red mana in my pool here. Red, colorless, green. And let's play outburst. On more permanence now. We're visiting Los Angeles right now. Ooh. What for? Just holiday? Morning in St. Goo. Let's go glimpse. And what do we hit now? Ooh, we hit the Omnath. Nice. So Omnath triggers. And we get a ton of 5-5. Five five. All right. Omna look as a rage going off here on turn three with five elemental tokens. Then what? I'm gonna flip again. I think so. I think so. I think with this hand, flipping again isn't risky. There are just way too many permanents. And I think we can't even win the game if I flip enough Omnaths. Alright, so that's the third glimpse that I cast in the same turn. And this is a, a much better uh, first, <laughs> first game to show in a video. Oh no, they conceded. Alright, I respect that. I respect that. A very nice turn 3 here. Okay, so playing against um, Yogmoth. Yogmoth gonna have some Discord spells. I like Leyline against Yogmoth. I mean, usually I hate Leyline, but if I have it in my sideboard because of reasons, I don't mind bringing it in in this matchup. That boarding with this deck is obviously tough because you're gonna hurt inevitably uh, the rest of the deck. Videos with the bad first game list. I mean, it's not that I get last clicks, but people might quit after the first match if I, you know, don't do anything. How was the weather in Italy? Sunny today, but yesterday it was rainy. Which is obvious because the yesterday was a national holiday. So a lot of people went out to be happy together. And obviously, whenever people love to be happy, they put the rain. To remember what's the meaning of life no that's a joke uh all right uh let's put some fables and let's put out some fables i love spyro because of leyline she just cut the omnats is this matchup about going off with omnats i mean it's so hard to cyber with this deck the cut reason reefs that because they have yogmots i don't know Okay. Let's keep. I'll put both ley lines in play because this deck loves to get permanence. The more permanence, the better uh, your, your uh, cascade will be. All right. The third land. And I can next turn go for a... Sorry, in two turns go for an outburst. 
Ooh, explosives on zero. Interesting. Hmm. I guess if I draw a wave sifter, I'm not gonna cast it now because explosives will kill it. They don't have a third land. Maybe hmm, do I wanna go con the garden. Or oh, actually I'm gonna slow roll it probably, yeah. Maybe I can go like third third turn just play endurance. Fourth turn, I'll go Connie Garden Outburst. If I just go Connie Garden here, I would have probably craft this end of turn. Maybe they kept that hand with a lot of Thoughtseize. I don't know. I think that's what they were trying to cast. What holiday was yesterday? Apparently, not only in Italy, but also in Portugal. It's the same holiday. It's the freedom against the fascist regime after the Second World War. Pass. You know the Python? Don't need to do much. They are stumbling, so I'll uh, just fetch up a um, island, play endurance. And uh, for three. Unfortunately, this Omnath cost 7, unlike the 4 mana Omnath, which was very castable. Like, now I could have casted it in this mid range strategy plan. Maybe go for Outburst, but I don't know. Opponent is mana up. Can they, can they have something? Our casting this Omnath is an achievement. It's not easy to R cast a seven drop, I have to say. When it goes to this card, that's extremely unlucky. Oh, sees. Yeah, I think I, I don't mind going for Colony Guard and Shardless now. It might fizzle and then they continue the explosives, kill my kill all my Omnath tokens. Yeah, I'm just winning so much. Yeah, I should just not move here. I should just not move. I think like they'll eventually move and then I will go. Yeah. Like if they keep on passing with uh I don't know. Necromancia. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably move now. Let's go. Elemental. And let's go for a shardless. But, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to do this. I have to undo everything now because <laughs> I floated uh, colorless instead of. Uh... All right, so let's go shardless with a ton of permanent into play. Limbs. One million permanent. What do I find? All right, that's good. Uh, we should pay two life. Uh, oh, actually, I can cast this Omnath here. You guys said it's an achievement, right? Actually, I don't even need the Shockland there. I don't even need the Shockland there. But this one, I'd need it. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And yeah, this explosive is gonna do some cleaning over there. End of turn. 
Oh, right. Every Elementals deals three damage. I forgot about that. Remember, Seasonal Power is mandatory. We can choose not to. Let's cast this Omneth from hand. We get another, I get another 5-5. Five, five. And a legend ruling and deal three damage to uh to Noble Dark. Wait, I deal six actually, not three. Each of them triggers. Nice. Good old uh, rules. That only happen on Magic Online. No, I'm joking, not only happen. Alright, ooh, looks like they're cracking explosives. Nice. <laughs> Alright. We we won. Basically, it's like a, a Valaka, Valaka escape ship now, this old map. <laughs> Alright, I concede. GG. You've died to Spyro decking you while playing Glimpse a year ago. Hmm. Good first match. Yeah, indeed. This is a good YouTube, first YouTube match. This is a yeah, Magic the Gathering game all the time? It really is. Alright, this is another good hand. Happy about it. Remember, you can cast Cavern to uh, evoke the Wave Sifter. It's not very intuitive, but evoke isn't a... It's still part of casting the card. Jeans, thank you for the tier one sub. The teamer Omnath has something to do with the uh, like deals damage equal to the elemental you have, and then if you have eight uh, lands, you put counters and draws cards, things like that. When I was an arena gamer, I used to play that. Invasion of Ikoria, wow. Wait, you put Asmo into play? Wait, that's broken. Chad, they put Asmo into play. No, Dread Abor, okay. Less broken then. Green and Zenith at home. Oh, it's non-human? No. Did I think of uh, did I think of Asmo now? Of course, of course they didn't. What am I doing here? It just happened. All right, let's go. Uh, suspend this. Sorry, evoke this. I don't know why I fetch with Scalintar. Whatever. Really deck yourself with endurance now, unless you make mistakes. I guess you yeah, deserve this sub. Thank you. Am I going to Barcelona, Bologna, and Venice? I don't know what's in Venice, but I'll definitely be in uh, Barcelona and Bologna. Vampiric's Mage. No, oh, that bad. You got an 8-8? Eight, eight? Judge? I don't know what this does. Let's check it out. 8-8. Eight, eight. For each non-human creature you control... This is suspicious. They might, like, do some combo. Can it kill me next turn? No, right? Yeah, I think I'll just... I'm, I'm ass. Well, I mean, I, I five per. I five per is not enough. Five per is barely enough. and I, I don't think I'll die next turn. So I might get a Fury off the top. Yeah, I feel so bad in these combo matchups. Oh, I play against this combo today. <sighs> 
the placement of X Parasite is gaining value. Yeah, right? The more the more magic cards Wizards print, the better Vampiric's Mage gets. Boom, you got a Zilorta. Apex of Ikoria. Where was Zilorta during Ikoria? Never heard his name before. Media comedy. These are like The Rocks. Do you guys remember The Rocks from Nemesis? The dinosaur has converted mana cost to Ivar. You know what this does? You're on top of your right arbor. Wrist. <laughs> All right. It's now our time to show how does it that go off. Wait, actually, I died to this thing probably. Ah, whatever. Let's just let's just properly go off. This this thing can deal damage to me, so I can't block this thing. All right, let's properly go off. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Glimpse of tomorrow. Boom. I found what? Fury Onath. Not bad. Allora. Am I dead on board? Chat, am I dead on board? I might not, right? I might top deck another Fury. With all these Reason Rift triggers. I have a lot of Reason Rift trigger, by the way. The lot is the buy box promo of Ikoria. Thank you, Bouncing. Wow, that's deep knowledge over there. It does exist only in the in the oh thank you thank you it only exists in the in the my box promo Ooh, pop burst let's go up again yeah very important to deal those four damage to the uh, zilorta or it would be harder to hit another fury and kill it uh put on the bottle for the yes Ooh, look at this i might just loop here uh yeah no, I'm lucky, Mangu. It's okay, I can endure us myself, but so unlucky. All right, finding two glimpses in my hand. Ah, okay, that is fine. It's fine. I still have like, tons of OP, right? <clears throat> Let's fetch up some basics. No, actually, I need a red land. Let's go. Ah, no, no, chat. I punted. I punted. I got island. I can't cast Outburst. Wait, I topped that. Okay, I drew Charles. Never mind. We're saved. Thank you, Magic Online, for saving Mangu. Um, well, let's fetch. I need to go down to four. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's got stomping ground. That triggers. That triggers. Season Pyro. Okay. Now I have to uh, endurance myself first because I have to uh, shuffle back the glimpse. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. This deck in paper is a, is a blast to play. Allora, do I want to shuffle back the endurance? Nah. Nah, I don't want the endurance. And then I'll shuffle my deck. Couldn't go shardless. Um, sure. And that dies, and then I... Oh, three damage I deal. Ooh, I forgot about that. Um... Oh, this one does nothing. This one, metal, metal three card, and you return a creature with metal your list. Hmm. Uh, do I want to deal three damage to the Zilorta? Or do I want to deal three damage to the face? I think I'll deal face. Face is the place. Do we have any more elementals? I don't. All right. Let's go off again now, shall we? Shardless agent. Boom. Let's reveal glimpse. And glimpse reveals a lot of things. A lot of things. Boom. 
Ooh, that's a fury, and that's an omnath. My four life. I'm not gonna put this untapped. Boom. Anyone want anyone wanted some triggers? Some mango triggers? Rager, Rager. I wish I found two Omnath, but that's okay. All right, let's get rid of this uh, glimpse of tomorrow. Oh, that's true. I put two elementals into play. Jeez, jeez. At least the plant. Wait, how does the plant trigger? I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Hope I don't deck myself, but there's another endurance in my deck. This is this is crazy. And honestly, I don't even know how 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 does it finish? How does it finish? I can totally deck myself. No, I, actually, uh, Reason Rift doesn't deck you. That's why I put the Cecil Power at the beginning. This is on pirate decks you. This on pirate decks you, whereas the rest doesn't. What's happening? All right. I shoot my own. Oh, right. I can shoot my own elementals. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that later. I'll do that when this stack end ends. Twenty cards, but again, I can't. I can't deck myself here. I think that's why it was very important to put the season power at the beginning. Because if they come at the end, no, nah, I guess it's fine. I still find the endurance. Such a. Such, I feel like this is my. I don't know. I see so many furies. What's the timer looking like? 18 minutes. Okay. I should stop putting lands in play. But it's so fun. You guys don't like to, to see all those triggers? You would rather see less triggers? Is that what Twitch has said? <clears throat> That's strange. I don't recognize you anymore. Yuri, we killed Zilorta. Zilorta, you're dead. And then, I'm gonna go Fury. Healing uno, due, tre, quattro. Prison Rift triggers. Oh, also, 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 Fury dies. That's true. So I could have dealt 15 here. And we win the game. It's turn four. Just nothing to see here. Just in turn four action. Nothing to see here. Decent screenshot. Okay. I 
All right, so my opponent plays uh, bottles, which are not enchantment, but they're bottles, in fact. I can, I, can, I can subtlety the bottle on the back side. And it's not bad. Nah, I'll go with this. Just a couple of subtlety. This looks like arena. What? Don't say that. That hurts my feeling. Mulligan. Deep. Um, keep. Actually, hmm, I'll probably keep the glimpse. Yeah, let's get gradient bottom of land. What's the worst that can happen? Or of a kind? The consensus is that arena looks better. What? How does it look better? It's like bugs walking around and like you have a dog in your picture. I'm playing a card game designed in 1993. Let me stare at nothing and my magic cards only, please. You can tell it's an aspiring spike deck when they play Mask of Asylum. Mark of Asylum. Uh, do I want to suspend the glimpse? Probably, right? Because I can't Fury anymore. I guess they have Planeswalkers. I can still Fury the Planeswalker. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna suspend the glimpse. Uh. Wow, you mill in the dark? What if you break? Never bricked. Alright. Can they do some annoying things this turn? Hope not. Oh, all the Skull and Tarn have been drawn. This feels like the video I made with the Randomator deck with Atraxa that I built a random mana base and I put three Skull and Tarn in my deck and I kept drawing Skull and Tarns. Uh, anyway, I don't feel like Furying the Tivar, but maybe I should. Should I Fury the Tivar? Yeah, I'll trigger the Reason Reef as well. Probably good enough. Yeah, because this thing untaps Fiend Artisan. That's annoying. Fortunately, I can't shoot the Fiend Artisan, but I'll do it for content. So that people will be like, No, Mango, you should have Fury the Fidetivar! Doesn't work, because they have this card, Mark of Asylum. I to say the Fiend Artisan, not the Tivar. Anyway, Devoted Druid. Oh no, am I dead? I'm not dead. Hmm. Well, I'm 100% dead next turn. Yeah, I think, like, I lose this game. I think I lose this game. I think I want to go off a little bit with Season Pyro. This garden. This and that. Get some triggers. And then maybe next turn I can go off much bigger. Next turn I can go off much bigger. 
But I, I, they probably have this one, yeah. I'm gonna lose now. Actually, F6 and go to the bathroom. I'm sure Poyna's gonna have a lot of. Okay, so what, what are they doing here? Do they have a wink on? No way, don't tell me it is to pump this forever and attack with Zilota. Is that the way my opponent's going to kill me? No way. That can't be. <laughs> That's the slowest kill I've ever seen somebody using. Is this on 14 minutes? Nah, I should probably just give up. Yeah, okay, you have it. You have it. Does it have haste? The druid just attacks. The druid, they're killing me with the devoted druid. I don't think I need two endurance. I think one is enough to, call, to, to not deck myself. You read this trample? Zilorta. Read the card, please. Read the card. And Zilor, read Zilorta. Okay. On the play for game three. Okay, it's not a bad end. Turn two with Sifter. Turn three. We'll see. Maybe Spyro if I draw a red source. <clears throat> Impollards. Exclamation mark gods unchained. Yeah, don't use the referral code, just... Wait, doesn't it work? Gods... Echo, there it is. You don't need to put the referral code. If you use that link, it's gonna work. Thank you. Yeah, later I'll play with God Unchained. It's gonna be the last uh, sponsor stream of the month. All right, we got some clue tokens. Hopefully, I draw land. Land, mango, land, land. <laughs> okay, what do I do? I think I like to go Spyro. This is more object for future turns. More game object for the next tutor, for the next turn. <clears throat> okay, my opponent can win, of course, this turn. They on top with the druid, usually it's over. I could have just gone for the wheel, but on six permanence to find fury. Maybe that was better. Yeah, maybe that was better. Chad, why didn't I not go for, why did I not go for shardless? I guess because six, maybe it's not too many. Hmm. Wow, when it cracks all the peatlands. What have they found? Nothing? Is that finale? Q. 
GG. Yeah, maybe we should, we should just spend, spun the wheel. X equals 16. Alright, GG. GG. How was the BBQ and the draft? Oh, good, oh, good, thank you. Yeah, good. It's too greedy. It's okay. The problem of going off and fizzling, it's, it's, it's hard, and it's not that they combo every time. They have to put a devoted druid. They certainly did there, though. All right, that's another fine hand. I have turned to Wave Sifter, and and we'll see what else. I don't have the um, Cascade card yet. But it's in the deck. Do we play any video games? No, I used to play Arena, but now only Magic Online. And Paper Magic. That's all the video games I play. Thoughtseize, okay. Main deck Thoughtseize. That's illegal. Main deck Thoughtseize. Can MTGO be considered a video game? No. I don't think so. Hey, nice draw. Ooh, blue, green, and evoke. Oh. Arc. No land? Did you just keep it one lander? I guess. Uh, let's crack a clue. Land? Hmm. I'm pretty sure that it's not the, the way you're supposed to play Wave Sifter, but I guess finding a land drop is better than not. Wait, do I wanna, do I wanna crack the clue? In my turn for Fury. Could have done that. Blighted Agent. Oh. Are we dead? Probably. Are we dead, Jim? All right. This is the same thing as before. Should I cascade with five? Or should I just play Spyro? Play Spyro, I get bigger next turn. Probably die though. I guess let's cascade. Like this is like very, very close to just to just kill me. Like whereas earlier, I think I don't know, it wasn't as intuitive. Like, now I'm just dead for sure. Mm hmm Let's cascade again. This is my last cascade spell, too. I have six permanents. Really, not very many. Good morning, Katora. 
And am I dead? Basically dead, yes. A Fury might be good enough because even if they have a protection for Blighted Agent, I get to kill those. So that's something. The reason re first. Now I'll play Fury. A pretty good turn, although although there is um I might easily die next turn. I guess now it's harder. Yeah. And I don't have any more glint, so this one does nothing. And now it's much harder to kill me because you don't need any two pump spell. You need to exactly scale up. And uh, that, for example. Okay. Tap. Nice. Yes. Um, I think I shuffle two lands. Nice. So we can cascade again. Good. So let me start by attacking with everybody. And now we're gonna go off. So first I go endurance myself. Uh also the endurance, I think. Play. Trigger. Shuffle my deck. And now I'll play, oh yeah, now I'll play this, and now we have the glimpse back in our deck. And boom. It's just a lot of permanence to glimpse into. Boom. They concede. All right, GG. Uh, playing against the Infect. Once again, I play against four combo decks, unreal. I think this feud is better than Subtlety, might not be. I could blight an agent and I go subtlety, I would feel good probably. Yeah. Now I don't want to take out Reason Reef, that's a blue card. Let me just take it out some old nut. And this hand never wins. Did you mulligan? The mulligan I keep. The Captain Mulligan. All right. I don't know why I thought about that. Necromancia. Ooh. My hand now is not great. <laughs> All the cascade spells do nothing. I did bring in some subtlety though. What they named Violet of Burst? Hmm. That's not a very good opponent.
Quick sit girl. Let's cast it. Hey, have it by Zombo. And let's, uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna hold up Voseju to not die to the Nexus. Might not up with blue mana, I probably have some counter spells, I don't know about that. Anyway, you pump end of turn because they could have binds the vast wood here. Sorry, you, you kill end of turn because they could have binds the vast wood. Mm hmm. They take two infect. Out of all Corosa, again, I have to I have to pass here. And then end of turn Baseju. And there goes Nick Pin Veil. Alright. And now I can push Shardless. Yeah, let's go Shardless. Attack first. Two damage. And I go shardless. Loading. Blue. Alright, floating colorless. <laughs> Glimpse. What we got? Not bad. Not bad. This Noble Hierarch is very dead. Ooh, do I want to kill my own elementals? Can I kill my opponent if I kill my own elementals? I guess I can, right? Should I do that though? Probably. So do something like this. Pass, 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 pass. One second. Um, I don't mind. I can't do that. Um. Okay. So let's do this, and then with the other fury, I will deal three, uh, four to the to this fury. Yes. And now we have every other triggers. Killing my own people for fun. Unfortunately, you have to find the target of Fury before. Now we go off. Zum zum. <gasps> zum zum. Every lands trigger the Reason Reef. Sorry, every lands triggers the Omnath that puts in Elementals and that triggers the Reason Reef. Zum zum. Zum zum. Okay, no more Glimpse of Tomorrow. They're all in my hand. But there's an Endurance, so I find a Discord spell for these. Zum zum. Ooh, there it is. That's a Discord spell. Huh. Alright, Fury kills my own people. And I deal 3 damage to you. Fury kills more own people, and I deal 6 damage to you. Unfortunately, not lethal. 
maybe add lethal if I build all my things instead of your elemental, but I don't think I could have. Anyway, um, the turn is not over. Turn is not over. Wait, I win. I just evoke this and it's over, right? I just evoke this and it's over. Because it dies and deals three damage to you. Sweet! <laughs> Alright, GG. Yeah, it was important to kill my own people if I wanted to kill them with the Omnath. <laughs> All right, let's play the last match. No, I could have flipped again. I know, but yeah, I'm saving. I'm saving time here for everybody. I'm saving everybody's time. I'd be too murked in the top eight. Yeah, I'm sure that this deck between uh, Cabin of Sauce and uh, Four Endurance is fine against uh, that deck. Yeah. Open and punt by not naming glimpse for sure. Yeah. Okay, that's a good end. Obviously, it's missing the third land drop. Uh, yeah, we played twenty five lands, so that we're able to keep two landers without fear. Yeah, printing shardless agent uh, was definitely. Um, Was definitely ooh, they're scamming me. Okay, the pitch terminate. Okay, that's a good draw. Let's go steam vents and let's evoke this wave sifter. And pass. Ragabandash. All right. Stop the Kalean deer and go off with six permanents. Ooh, there was a land on top. Should have chum blocked. Should have chum blocked, chat. I want to put more permanents into play. Should have cracked the clue and go for the land, but. This makes me cascade better, I think. Next turn. Like cascading with, if, if I play with chum blocking and I crack a clue, cascading with so few permanents is just, yeah, you don't, you don't go off. Like you need a lot of permanents to cascade and go off. Guess we don't go off anymore. And still maybe get there. Hmm. Did I chump? Mm. Yeah. I think when it doesn't have anything, one season pyro will be good enough here. I don't block a grief, block a ragaban. Oh yeah, fable. Hmm. Now it's harder. Alright, GG. Again, this is part of this deck. I mean, part of magic in general. You keep two landers. And you don't draw in a, in a hand with... They only worked with three lands and you just don't draw a third land. You give up. Let's bring in the ley lines. What to cut? Fury? Do I cut Fury? Does that make any sense? Not really. I don't want to cut the. Um, I don't want to cut the the mid range card either. Maybe I cut like one of each. Mm. 
the flowing? I have not yet, no. All right, keep. Let's go. Uh, I think I'll go try him. Yeah. Or I could get Island. Mm, that's maybe better, actually. I have Shardless, Boater, Scammon, wow, Ellen and Durans. We're gonna scam a Fury, but we have an Endurance. I'm gonna pitch Outburst. Nice three for two. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'd rather call me Garden than Wave Sifter. I could only fetch Forest in paper with Scalin Tarn. Ooh. Hopefully, we don't have a. Uh... What's that? Ragavan Dash. Okay. We want to let it go? I think so. Again, I, I need my objects. I need my game objects. I don't want to sacrifice them for the greater good of Ragaba not flipping a, uh, not flipping a card and getting a treasure. Hmm. Now this one is great. Now this one makes me play very well around Bloodman. I think. And also Charles Agent. <sighs> yeah, slow rolling the fetch line I think was was good. I think it was a good choice. Mm-hmm. Three cards. Okay. Uh, I actually don't want to shuffle anything away. So what they do here is attack with Goblin, and then I'll play hopefully my whole end, and hopefully I'll go off big and I'll win. Oak, and then Shardless. And then Shardless. Let's go. Boom. Well, I have a perfect sideboarding here. Let's go to game three. A little more endurance? Maybe. Very good against the turn one Fury scam. Less good against a turn one Grave scam, though. Mm. Yeah, let's go. Let's leave like three and two for no real reason. You don't think a Sino to ever? Yeah, right? I don't think I've, I've ever, yeah, I've never drawn this card. Unless it was like in the draw my deck turns. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't pay much attention to Otawara either. There's none of the um, ley line or ender and stuff to protect me from uh, turn one scam, but it it just has lands and spells. Plus, I'm playing against scam, so you just like never mulligan basically when you play against that deck. Ugh. Mountain Ragaban. One glimpse now. Two more remaining. Ooh, Fury! Wow, no fear. Oh, it has no fear. No endurance on her side, unfortunately. And they only have two cards. Alright, Colony Garden will be a great chum blocker here, saving 8 damage. All on the back of this tiny little plant. Thank you so much, plant token. You are a big gamer here. No, they flipped, they flipped Fable on my side. With Ragaban. <sighs> okay. Last glimpse in my deck. There is only one glimpse remaining, chat. Only one glimpse remaining. E terre ci sono. Wouldn't discard it's two lands. Even if they didn't flip my fable. I would have been such in a good shape. Now they cast Fury. How much damage do you have? Otto, yeah. Hmm. And you have one card in hand. Okay. And how much damage is that? 12. I got a 4. Hmm. Healthy Void Walker. Wrong. And a draw the last glimpse of tomorrow. Okay, that's it. Unfortunately, I can't go off anymore because all my glimpses are gone. And that game. Alright, thank you everybody for watching. It was a ton of fun until it lasted. And I'll be back tomorrow with more videos on my YouTube channel. So like, subscribe, and stay around.